Hello everyone, in this video we are going to determine the x-intercept and the y-intercept of a given graph. So let's define the x-intercept first. So x-intercepts are points where the graph of a function or an equation crosses or touches the x-axis. Or pretty much it is the value of x when the y is zero. On the other hand, y-intercepts are points where the graph of a function or an equation crosses or touches the y-axis. Or pretty much in math, that's the value of the y when the x is zero. So let's take this first example right here. So we're going to determine the x-intercept. So x-intercepts, we're looking at the x-axis. So let's figure out where is that point where this line is crossing or touching the x-axis. It is at this point right here. So this is our x-intercept. And we can write the x-intercept here as x is equal to, that's going to be 2. Or there is another notation that we can use, which is the coordinate form. So we can actually write this as uh, 2, 0. So as you can see here, the x-intercept is the value of the x when the y is 0. Now let's look at the y-intercept. In this case right here, this is our y-intercept because this is the point where the um, graph crosses or touches the y-axis. And that is on negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So I can go ahead and write as uh, the y-intercept as y is equal to negative 3. Or the other notation for this is in coordinate form. And that is actually 0 for the x and negative 3 for the y. So pretty much the y-intercept is the y-value when the x is 0. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Let's take the first one. Let's take the x-intercept. Again, x-intercept is the point where the graph crosses or touches the x-axis. So we're looking at the x-axis. So this is our first x-intercept. We have two of them. It doesn't have to be one only. So this is the other x-intercept. So the possibility of having x-intercept, sometimes it does not have any x-intercept. Sometimes it can be three, it can be four, it can be one. So in this case right here, we have two x-intercepts. And we again, we have two notation in writing for the x-intercept. Let's take the first notation right here. That is x is equal to one. Or in coordinate form, that would be 1 and 0. And then the other x-intercept is this dot right here. And that is x is equal to 1, 2, 3. Or we can write this in coordinate form. That's 3, 0. So she can see on both of these, an x-intercept is the value of x when the y is 0. Now let's take the y-intercept here. So looking at this, the y-intercept is this point right here. That is where the line crosses the y-axis. So then we can go ahead and write this as y is equal to 1, 2, 3. Or we can write this in coordinate form. And that would be 0. And the y-value is 3. So again, pretty much y-intercept is the value of y when the x is 0. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next one here. So let's determine what are the x-intercepts for this. So the again, x-intercept, we're looking at the x-axis. So first we have this x-intercept. We have another x-intercept right here. And we have another x-intercept right here. So there's like three x-intercept for this. Now let's get the, I mean, let's have the value for this x-intercept here. So that would be x is equal to negative 3, because that's 1, 2, and 3. Or we can write this in um, coordinate form, and that would be negative 3, 0. Now the second x-intercept is this one right here, and that is x is equal to positive 1, or again, we can rewrite this as 1, 0 in coordinate form. And then the third x-intercept is this point right here, and that is x is equal to 2, or in coordinate form, that would be 2, 0. So as you can see on all of these three x-intercepts, 
x-intercept again is the value of x when the y is zero. Now let's look at the y-intercept. Again, the y-intercept is on the y-axis. Where does it cross on the y-axis? This is our y-intercept right here. So, and that is y is equal to negative three. So that's one, two, and three. Or we can write this in coordinate form, zero, and uh, y is negative three. In this case, in this example that we have here, we have three x-intercept. Again, there can be no x-intercept, there can be one x-intercept, there can be two, there can be four, whatever it is. But then for the y-intercept here, most of the examples that we did, we only had y, one y-intercept. It can be no y-intercept, it can be two, it can be more than two. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!